Hi there, Virgo. Welcome to your November 2015 room scope. With me, my name is Amanda. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements. I just wanted to remind you that the final room class of 2015 will be November 2nd through December 7th. That is completely online. It's $185 for the full six week course. If you were wanting to sign up for that and get in on that last opportunity this year, the deadline to sign up is 12 p.m. Eastern time on October 29th. So if you're watching on the October side, you still have a few days to get in touch with me. Just drop me a line at the uh, email address in this video and below this video in the details section. Um, if you just tap that little arrow beneath the video, that opens the details section and you can see all the info that I talk about in the video, uh, as well as my email address. Also, I wanted to mention that I will be appearing on uh, an internet radio show on November 11th. It's at 7 p.m. Eastern time. It will be posted thereafter if you can't make the live broadcast, but I will be talking about the runes. Um, it's on Solar Temple Radio. It's on Blog Talk. I'll also include the link um, below the video in the details section and probably in the video with the little info button. If you just tap that little I, that will uh, show you the link and, and take you there and you can listen to that if you are interested in the runes. Um, you can get a good idea probably from that of what they're all about. But let's jump into November. Virgo, and uh, I know we've had some rather intense eclipse readings the past few months. Let's hope November is pointing towards smoother sailing. It has been so far for uh, most of the signs. So, and it looks like for you as well. Okay. <laughs> Let me just uh, lay out the tarot cards. I am using the Witches Tarot this month uh, by Ellen Cannon Reed and Martin Cannon. Um, but as always, do keep in mind these are general readings, which means not all of the messages will apply directly to you. Those that are not for you will be for other Virgos watching out there. If you would like a reading that is specifically for you, um, you can set up an appointment with me. I do readings live on Skype. They're $65 for 30 minutes. Just drop me a line at roomscopes 4 you at gmail.com. That's the number four and the letter U, and we can set up an appointment for you. Um, but uh, also you can check out the video for your rising sign. That will also contain some messages for you. Um, also, I'm letting everyone know that if you want to get a New Year's reading for 2016, if you're interested in that, I would go ahead and get in touch with me in November or December. You can beat the January rush because I usually do book up pretty quickly in January um, with lots of people wanting to get New Year's reading. So you can get them now. Contact me uh, in November or December and we will see how your New Year's going to pan out. But Virgo, your focus is going to be on um, moving past a situation where you feel like you know you were just drained. You were drained of your energy or your money or both. Um, some of you, again, different Virgos, it'll be different things. Or um, you're moving past a situation where um, with strength reversed, it can be that your strength was used against you. It can be that you were seduced by a situation or a person that was not all they seemed or not what they led you to believe that they were. And now you're like, I'm done with that. I'm getting out of this and moving on to uh, new beginnings. And um, I think that that is starting in November, but you have the hanged man here, which means like you may be taking a bit of a time out for yourself. So maybe some of you are taking some time off to reboot or recharge, or uh, maybe, you know, if you're in the States, maybe you're taking that week of Thanksgiving off, or you're just taking some time to be with family or have family into your home, as many of you may be, because you also have the 10 of pentacles coming up here. So yeah, you may be coming together with family um, and just enjoying their company, enjoying, um, you know, being with everyone and um, moving on moving forward in your life um, in, and leaving something that was negative behind. Um, but yeah, the hanged man can indicate um, a bit of a spiritual uh, reevaluation. 
So maybe some of you have changed directions as far as your spirituality. Maybe you are looking for um, a new direction with that and you're taking some time in November to investigate that. Some of you may, may be developing your intuition. Um, you know, so you may be using any downtime in November to explore that or research that or read up on ways to develop that. Um, especially those of you that feel like you have a gift for that. Um, some of you may just be looking to develop it in, uh, if, to use for yourself, um, which I encourage everyone to do for sure. Um, so yeah, any, any time that you take out in November is going to serve you well in moving forward quickly with any goals that you have, especially for, uh, next year. So, um, and yeah, many of you, money looks great with the Ten of Pentacles. That is a card of financial stability, of completing financial goals. So anything that you have set that you want to complete in November on the job or um, you know around the home or any little things that you want to get done maybe before family comes for the holidays, if they're coming to your house, you're going to have the money and the means and the time to get that done. You're just going to make sure that you you have it all, all your ducks in a row. And um, you're going to focus on that and focus on family time, most of you. Um, others of you will be focusing on at work, getting everything that you need to get finished, finished before the holiday break or before uh, the end of the year. And um, you're going to be so focused, Virgo, you are going to get it done, maybe with time to spare. Maybe that's why you do have time to take out in November, because you get all your stuff done before everyone else. And you're like, I'm taking the whole week off later. Um, <laughs> uh, or those of you who, you know, are, are work from home, you will be finishing up any little tasks that you have been uh, wanting to complete. And uh, you're gonna get have help doing that as well. Um, the holidays look fantastic, Virgo, for most of you. So I do have to say, I mean, if you are, if you do celebrate Thanksgiving, November looks fantastic for family ties, renewing family ties, for just having a good time, enjoying each other's company. Um, now the help that's going to be available to you is that some of you may have a new love interest coming in. You have the Ace of Rods here. Try to hold that up. The sun is setting, so I have a horrible glare behind me. And Gifu, the rune of partnerships, especially emotional partnerships. But this can also be a business partnership. So the help that's gonna be available to you is uh, a new opportunity for partnering up with somebody who is uh, new in your life. With the Ace of Wands, this would be somebody that, you know, is recent or you haven't known very long, um, you know. Uh, so for those of you all, you know, already coupled or in a relationship, this could be news of someone close to you who is cementing their relationship or they've met someone new, um, you know, that they're really very excited about. Maybe you, they tell you about it over Thanksgiving dinner or, or uh, you know, through an email. They let you know, hey, I've met somebody and it's really kind of, you know, somebody pretty special. Um, there seems to be a, a partnership in the offing for somebody. And if it's not you, which for many of you it may be, you're going to be very, very happy about this for sure. And, um, you know, maybe this is somebody that's been single a while and, and you know, they you know, they're deserving of happiness. So you're happy to hear that they finally found somebody who deserves them or, or who is, um, worthy of them. Now, what can't be changed? You've got the seven of cups, uh, coming up next to Bjork reversed and Wunyo in the upright. So this tells me that, um, you may be kind of lost in fantasy land. And I feel like this particularly applies to. Um, <laughs> those of you who are in a new relationship. Um, so, uh, you know, you may be thinking about this person a lot or dreaming about this person a lot, or some of you may, may be, um, you just, you have several options when it comes to uh, new relationship opportunities. But um, the one you're going to pick is the one that you, there's one that you're thinking about the most. I feel like if you, even if you do have several dating options. There's one in particular that you are, hmm, I like this one the best. Um, because Wunyo talks about um, doing things with someone and, and enjoying their company, but you both also enjoy the same things. This is like your best friend, but it's also cool that you're like, uh, you know, um, 
it, you are romantically connected as well. So uh, this is the whole marrying or dating your best friend kind of feeling here. Um, the only drawback may be some sort of conflict going on in someone's family. But for you, Virgo, I really think it's going well with you. So maybe this is this person in your life and they're having problems with their family. Um, or, uh, you know, there's conflict with mother or, or someone on mother's side of the family. But or maybe maybe mother is unwell. This can also talk about um, an older relative, probably a female, who's not doing well. So it could be that this person is concerned about the health of, of someone in the family. Um, you know, uh, Virgo, some of you, maybe if you are concerned about the health of yourself or someone in your family, it, it may be one of those situations where it's like, well, with these symptoms, it could be a million different things. But you're going to be very happy, most of you, I think, with the turnout of that, that it's not the, it's not maybe any of those things, or it's not the the bad stuff. Um, or, okay, there. this is a specific message for uh, someone. You're going to be at Thanksgiving dinner, and mom or someone is telling you about, oh my God, I had all these problems, and I really thought it was... You know, so I was like, oh my gosh, I have cancer, or oh my gosh, I have this. And you're gonna be like, why? You're sitting there listening to this story and be like, why didn't you tell me or anyone else about this? But then it has a happy ending because she already had it checked out and it's okay. <laughs> but while she's telling the story, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, she's gonna, she's gonna tell us all that she has some horrible debilitating disease at Thanksgiving dinner. And <laughs> that's not gonna be the way it plays out. At least for most of you. Um, those of you who are concerned about a relative, I do feel like it is going to have an, a happy outcome. And you'll probably find out before the end of November that uh, that all is well, um, you know, and that this person has recovered or soon will or they can help this person. But I feel like for most of you, this may be this new person on the scene. They're, they're concerned about their mom or someone on mom's side of the family who has been unwell or there may just be conflict or some issues with that person. Um, now... Some of you may be invited to spend Thanksgiving dinner with your new person's family. So um, that may be another way this plays out. Um, so, uh, and you may not get along or you may find one of the relatives not particularly awesome. Maybe the, this person's mother or uh, an older female member of the family, but it's not gonna ruin your good time. Um, so, uh, in fact, I think, you know, this person will prepare you. It's just like, you know, she's really hard to get along with. So, and that may make you, may make you more nervous, but don't let it get out of control. Don't create all these scenarios in your head for Oh my God, what if I say the wrong thing and then I'll get kicked out and, uh, no, don't, don't, don't do that to yourself. Um, so really Virgo. Things are looking good and there's an enlightenment coming. And I feel like you guys are on for sure a spiritual journey, many of you. If it's not something that you are looking into, like an actual spiritual path, you're going to be looking back on your life as, you know, um, uh, you know, the spiritual journey that it is in and of itself. And in, okay, yeah, I just came out of this situation and this is what I learned from that. Um, but you're going to see how maybe leaving that situation or person behind has opened you up to these new, this new person coming in or to uh, strengthening family bonds or just really bringing joy back into your life. So it's coming back in November, Virgo. The joy is coming back for sure. And stability is coming back. And, um, you know, a, a renewed purpose for, for many of you. And uh, a new love, a new relationship, new partnership is on the horizon, um, new beginnings. Now, for some of you, this new partnership could be in business, again, because we do have the Ten of Pentacles. And if that's the case, this is going to be a very fortunate, um, very fortuitous partnership. Um, you're going to do very well at this because, I mean, I feel like you will complement each other very well. Like you, anything that you lack, this person has and vice versa. So you'll complement each other's skills very well um like you virgos are known for their attention to detail and organizational skills so maybe you have that and this person is the most disorganized uh, person but they're they're very good at you know whatever you may be lacking which um i don't know i don't know what that would be virgo you got it all you got it all 
<laughs> Maybe seeing the bigger picture or uh, paying more attention to that. But um, so yeah, maybe maybe that's how you complement each other. But um, if this isn't a part a business partnership, it could like with one other person, it could be a new job that's going to offer you wealth um, or really increase your wealth. Um, you know, in some way. So good money news in November or good partnership news, good family relationships um, and spiritual development, Virgo, which helps with all of these things. So that is what I see for November it looks to be a much better month. And I'm so happy to see that for you guys because you've had it rough the past few months. So things are looking up in November. Good luck, Virgo, and I'll see you back here in December.